Now let's add a new listing. As a website admin, you can add listings via the back end by going to the listings add new section or via the front end listing form. Let's try to add a new listing via the front end to check how it works for regular users. To add a new listing, simply go to the website and click on the Add Listing button. This is the listing submission form, which contains the basic fields like category, title and description, and also custom fields that we added previously. Here you can see the image uploader where you can select the listing images to upload. Also, since we installed and set up the geolocation extension, there is a location field that allows users to search and select the listing location. Let's fill in all the fields to add a sample listing. After completing the form, click on the Submit Listing button. As you can see, the listing is sent for review, and the website admin can approve or reject it. Since it's an admin user account, I can go to the dashboard, Listing section, and change the listing status from Pending to Published. Once the listing is approved, it should appear on the front end. Let's take a look. This is a page of the listing we created. As you can see, it displays the attributes we created previously. The location with the map, images, and so on. Please note that I have added the type and price attributes behind the scenes. Moreover, as I mentioned earlier, there are no limits and you can add as many attributes as you need. For example, for this listing you can add the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, indicate whether it's allowed to rent with pets or not, the parking availability, and so on. In the same way, I'll add a few more listings behind the scenes, just to have a bit more sample content for the website. Now, you know how to add listings. In the next video I'll show you how to create a front page for your directory website and customize its styling. So, let's move on!